Does a narcissist mother love her children? What drives a narcissistic mother to harm her own child? Let's unravel this complex parental relationship plagued by jealousy and dysfunction. The bond between mother and child is meant to be nurturing and safe. But for the child of a narcissist, it is characterized by selfishness and emotional cruelty. A child expects to find unconditional love from their mother. But with a narcissist parent, the love is only fool's gold and empty illusion devoid of real feeling. The narcissistic mother builds her child up, over idealizing them. But when they inevitably fall from her impassable standards, she tears them back down in an instant. This whiplash between adoration and contempt is jarring. The narcissistic mother views her child as just another accessory, a trophy to gain admiration from others. But when they cease to boost her ego, she discards them without a thought. What could drive a mother to compete with her own daughter, rather than nurture her? The answer lies in understanding narcissism. A daughter longs for a mother's guidance and support as she enters womanhood. But the narcissistic mother strips away this rite of passage by belittling and competing with her daughter. The narcissistic mother acts as an emotional leech, sucking the lifeblood from her child to feed her endless ego and vanity. She leaves her child feeling drained and empty. A son deserves a mother's love as he finds his own identity. But the narcissistic mother suffocates his development through control and emotional incest. The narcissistic mother does not see her child as an individual. Rather, she sees them as a mirror, reflecting back on her. She demands perfection, growing in rage when they do not meet her expectations. Can one still call it love when a mother belittles and controls her child? Or her cruel actions prove she is incapable of real maternal love? A narcissistic mother's love blows through her child's life like a tumbleweed, briefly landing with affection before blowing away without regard. Her love is conditional, lasting only until the child ceases to meet her needs. The narcissistic mother switches from extracting validation from her child through over-idealization, to extracting validation from others by devaluing the child through criticism and lies. This abrupt emotional flip is crazy making for the child. Nothing cuts deeper than a mother's rejection. When a narcissistic mother discards her child, it signals a lack of true maternal bond. The narcissistic mother values her child not as a human, but as a source of supply for her ego. When the child's utility runs out, the narcissist moves on without remorse. They were always little more than supply in her eyes. Though the narcissistic mother's rejection hurts profoundly, the child is better off without her toxicity. They now have a chance to heal and build relationships founded on real love. The wounds of being exploited then discarded by one's own mother cut deep into a child's psyche. But with time, compassion and courage, healing is possible. A narcissistic mother's inability to love reveals much more about her disorder than any shortcomings of the child. But the child, recognizing her incapability to love nurtures understanding and releases misplaced guilt. This knowledge is the child's first step in a lifelong journey of healing and learning what real love means. Though the road is long, the destination of lasting self-love is worth every step, 